after Rachel had given birth to Joseph. Yay, a baby boy! Let's name his Joseph. Yeah, all right! Jacob decided it was time to return to his homeland. I want to go back to my homeland. He went to Laban and said, I want to go back to my homeland. Laban was not very happy about Jacob leaving. He knew that while Jacob was with him, God had blessed him. He asked Jacob to stay. Don't go, please stay. Laban tried to pay him to stay. They were right and I will pay them. But Jacob didn't want more pay. He wanted to go back to his homeland, just as God had promised he would. He said, I have worked hard for you. Things have gone well. Now can I do some things for my family? Laban did not want Jacob to leave because of the good things that had happened for him while Jacob was there. He said, What shall I pay you? Jacob said to him, Give me all of the speckled and spotted shoe and all the speckled and spotted goat. Laban said, Fair enough, it's a deal. <laughs> but that day, Laban took all the speckled and spotted sheep and all the speckled and spotted goats, gave them to his sons to care for, and took them three days journey away, and left Jacob to look after the rest of Laban's sheep that weren't speckled or spotted. Do you think this made Jacob sad or angry? No, Jacob trusted God. He was beginning to see how God had been with him and looked after him. So Jacob took some special branches and put them in the water that the sheep and goats drank. When the sheep and goats had baby sheep and goats, there were speckled and spotted ones, which were good strong sheep and goats. Jacob got to keep all these speckled and spotted sheep and goats for himself. God had promised to look after Jacob and not leave him, and Jacob trusted God. <laughs> <laughs>